today. And the Union Territory is reeling under shock after the decomposed body of a 9-year-old Dalit girl was found from a drainage near her house on March 5. As you can see, there are no shops open today and there are no buses or autos flying on the roads. Residents say that this is the first in recent times that Puducherry has seen such a brutal crime on a minor and that's why even autos are refusing to fly. Even fisher folk from five hamlets in the region have refused to go to the sea. On March 2nd, the 9-year-old Dalit girl went missing from her house. Her parents reported this to the police the very same day. 72 hours later, her body was found from a drain just 200 meters away from her house. Her body was found in a decomposed state. Her hands and feet were tied together and the body was wrapped in a white colored dhoti. On March 6, two men were arrested. It was a 19-year-old teen named Karanas and a 56-year-old man named Vivekananda. They were booked under IPC sections 302 for murder, 363 for kidnapping, 342 for wrongful restraint and 201 for destruction of evidence. In addition, sections under POXO Act and Prevention of Atrocities Against Scheduled Cast and Scheduled Right Act are also added, but the sections are not yet clear. From the CCTV footage secured from the area, the Muthial Pet Police found that there was no evidence to suggest that the girl went out from her area. While the police claimed that they searched all the houses in the area, the residents say that they did not go beyond a particular part and that is where the girl's body was found. Puducherry is restless and is looking for some answers. The postmortem report of the child and the blood test results of the two men will perhaps have some answers. This is Azifa Fatima with camera person Siyosubramaniya reporting from Puducherry.